Well, Vladimir Putin said he was confident that he had the support of the Russian people to launch a massive and bloody invasion of Ukraine. Well, here are his people protesting in the streets of Moscow just today under the threat of arrest. They openly def defied Vladimir Putin and demanded peace. They're chanting, no more war. And this is St. Petersburg, hundreds of miles away. As expected and true to historical pattern, police in riot gear cracked down on the war protesters and dragged demonstrators away in cuffs. A Russian human rights monitor reports the police arrested more than 1,600 protesters across Russia. NBC's Matt Bodner live in Moscow for us tonight. Matt, what have you been seeing and hearing there on the ground? A dark and I'd say bewildered mood set upon Moscow this morning as Russians for the first time woke up to the news and faced the reality of a war that their president has been preparing more or less in plain sight for months. A war, by the way, that almost every Russian insisted was impossible because they are brother nations. The Kremlin insisting that it has public support, but we are seeing signs that that is not necessarily true. It is, of course, too soon to kind of get a, a, a full understanding of where the Russian public will fall on this. But we saw protests break out uh, throughout the country today, including here in Moscow, a heavy security presence. Across 53 cities, 1,700 protesters were arrested. These are big numbers historically for Russian protests and kind of give you uh, a sense of the scale of it. But I have to say, it is still a, a much smaller arrest number than we saw essentially one year ago when people took to the streets to protest the arrest of the uh, of the opposition leader, uh, Alexei Navalny. Speaking of Alexei Navalny, he was on trial again today from his prison where he's being held, and he used it as an opportunity to speak out against the war, saying that this is, is essentially uh, a way for the government to cover up what he says is the ongoing robbery of Russia's future from Russian citizens, saying that only Russians and Ukrainians will pay the price for the regime's war in Ukraine. Now, President Putin did again surface later today summoning Russia's business elite, you could call these the oligarchs, if you will, to, to, to warn them that Western sanctions were indeed coming, but reassure them that he had no other choice. This is the only way, he told his business community, to ensure Russia's security interests after the West had rejected their demands. Shep?